they feel updated in all layouts. Is there any way to update date in all layouts with a single command? I'm going to start by using the regen command, right? To regenerate my drawing, see if that will do something first, right? So I'm going to regenerate the drawing again. Uh, and it looks like nothing happens. <laughs> so again, our friend was right. Um, so um, now what's going to happen if I do a, a preview of this drawing, right? So most of the time uh, when we do a preview, uh, the drawing will also regenerate. Nope, the date is still the same. It's not updating. All right. So let's try something else here. Again, we're trying to help our friend simplify this process. Next thing I'll like to try is um, use the, um, the update field, right? So I'm gonna use the update field. Um, and then of course, I'm gonna select my uh, date or field right here and press enter and all right so we can see that it is updating now the problem is as our friend was mentioning that when we go to another layout we will have to apply the same update field command to this other uh, layout and the same with the rest right and we don't want that uh, in order to control fields in autocad um, there are many different settings, right? And one of those is the field eval system variable. Now, if we read a bit, um, we can see all of the different values. Zero means that uh, none of the fields will update, right? Let's try field, um, the field eval. Move this out of the way. And let's try that out. Yield, evil, enter. And we can see that the value is 31, which sounds right to me because if we go over here again to the um, help from AutoCAD, we're gonna see that if we add all of these values, we're gonna have indeed a 31 value which means everything is on, everything's supposed to be updating uh, for the fields. So at least we check that and we know that um, the drawing is using the correct field um, update settings, right? So uh, what can we check next then? What we can do is uh, try to inspect the field, double clicking on the text and I'm gonna double click again on the field and this will open the field dialog box which again for people who are new to fields this is a smart way to use this uh, kind of mm, smart text right of information that once set they will update automatically right per some instructions, like for instance, this is for the date. So that means our date needs to update by itself, right? Either when we regenerate or refresh our drawing, or when we, even when we um, print, it should be supposed to update by itself. Now, this friend is using this date um, field. Now, First, I want to give you the easy solution, right? And the easiest would be to use a different date field, right? Because look what happened. I'm going to cancel here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, right? With control C and put it maybe right here with control V. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to erase all of this and I'm gonna right click and insert field, all right? Just to show you the difference. So I'm not gonna go here and instead of saying all, I'm gonna click date and time. And this time I'm gonna pick the save date. Uh, of course you can pick 
over here whatever uh, format you like i'm just gonna keep the current one and click ok as you can see um, this is updating automatically and the beauty of this date field right is that it will update um, either by refreshing your drawing right with the regenerate all command or you don't even have to refresh your drawing whenever you plot print or create a pdf your save date will automatically update right so to give you a more complex sol uh, solution then um, what we can do is create a custom command right so to create this command, uh, the lazy command um, to update the date field in all of our layouts at once, uh, we can do it either by using the command macros palette, right? The commands macros right here, it's right here. Um, so, or we could also use the tool palette, right? Uh, if we open the tool palette with control three, right? That's the tool palette right there. And you can see I have many, or we have created many lazy commands. So on my tool palette, um, I can right click and say new palette if I want, and I can rename this. Maybe I can say lazy commands. That's all up to you, but the idea with the tool palette is, and let me uh, pin it over here, so I don't, is that we need to drag some drag something to our tool palette. And I'm gonna simply draw a rectangle, and I'm gonna click and drag it all the way up and release it, something like this, right? So I'm gonna erase this now. And once we have this uh, item in our tool palette, what we can do, is right click on it and pick properties over here we will have the same um the same information as uh, as our macro palette so the name of our command would be lazy update field the description i'm going to simply paste this command update all fields in all layouts and in the same way, um, you can add an image here by right clicking on it and saying specify image and, you know, assign an icon to your command. I'm not going to do that. But the important thing over here is that we need to add our code or command or macro over here, but it's locked. So the way we unlock this is by changing the use fly flyout to no. And then we will be able to edit this all right so i'm going to erase everything here now usually um what we do is we create a macro goal right here but for this uh, specific tutorial a macro wouldn't make it wouldn't work with this why because a macro doesn't have um, enough power to apply a command to all of the layouts right so instead what we can do is use some lisp functions right here under our lazy update field and the first function that i want to use i'm going to simply paste it from my second screen is this vl.com and this function basically is a way to check if the vlisp support is already loaded in autocad right so if it's loaded then this function doesn't do anything but if the uh, functions the list functions are not loaded this small piece of code will load this lisp support of functionality and that's it that's the first small piece of code that we need next all right so the following line of code what we're doing here is we are setting up three things with this line of, co of code right so first we're setting up the a cat 
um, function and this basically is the overall um, AutoCAD program right we're, we're accessing the overall AutoCAD program first why because then we're also accessing this second um, AC doc which uh, this represents the current open drawing or the current document right which is again this template right now this template file but we need more than that we need to also access each um, layout and that's where the third um, function which is a c lay it's um is doing right this is basically the layout or the view within the drawing that we are currently working on so the next piece of code uh, that i like to add here is i'm gonna paste it again with Control v from my second screen and highlight it so you can follow along this line basically is to start a loop right a loop that goes through each layout in the drawing right because again um, we have so many different layouts i guess 22 our friend mentioned but that doesn't matter um, a drawing can have 20 30 1 2 4 um, so but we are starting a loop with this function the the reason why we want to start a loop is is of course to update the field right in the layout but before we can do that we need an extra step we want to set the current layout uh, to start with this loop right we in the loop we are not telling yet what to do right what command to run anything we're just trying to get um, inside each specific layout now and again this piece of code is to uh, set the current layout in the loop right the next piece of code and so this is basically to um start a command right and the command would be update field that's the command now if we use the command in autocad autocad will ask us what field do you want to update right and we don't want to select so that's why we're using the option all right to update the fields and of course we're using uh, these um, quotes to the represent and enter right on our keyboard what happened once we update the field well we need to finish the loop right we need to say okay this was on a loop for each layout but we need to finish it right so in the way we're going to finish it is by adding this um, next piece of code that i'm going to paste and i'm gonna highlight so in the in this um, line of code is you know um after finishing the loop this line will set the active layout back to where it was right initially okay so so far we did many things but one simple thing that we can also do to to let everyone know is um to give a message, right? Uh, give a message uh, about what, what's happening with all of this code. I'm gonna paste it right here with Control V. It's gonna send a message, an alert, and this message can be anything, but a simple one that would be the day field update or day field updated in old layouts. I can paste this small uh, function called print to have a nice and clean command on the command line right so i'm going to click ok because you can see uh, the date is not current right now so let's check other ones other layouts all of them are not changing but now if we use our lazy update field command let's click on it they feel updated in all layouts and boom that's right all of our uh, dates were updated immediately and you don't have to do this manually the lazy command was good but to automate your entire title block with fields catch me in the next video